Pump and drive. Peterson gets the completion. Lakey Peterson. Today is a very special day. I get to go surfing. It's been since pretty much Newcastle was the last time that I surfed a wave. So I don't know, that's like four months ago or something. Yeah, I'm frothing. I'm a little bit like nervous too. I'm riding a, well, CI, the boys are just loaning me this seven foot mid length, CI mid length. And I have a shorter one here for when I'm ready to step down. I'm doing the North Shore movie where the guy steps down. Very buoyant, lots of volume. I am just standing up, we're gonna go down to Sano and I'm going straight. No turns. Yeah, the pop-up is my worst thing or was what hurt the most with my back getting my legs like underneath me. So that's why I'm a little nervous, but I've done it in the gym a million times this week. This is my step down board. This is a 6.8, a little less volume. Beautiful, brand new. I think I'm gonna keep this board. I'll be on this like next week probably. And then I'll go a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, and then I'll be on my shortboard. Santa no fray. Safety. Yeah. Thanks so many. There's some hazardous hazardous longboarders out there. Thank you for watching my board. Feeling good in the pink suit. Yeah, two people just came in and said a great white breach. Right there. So that's fun. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. Beautiful day for it. Beautiful waves for it. Feeling blessed. Feeling dangerous. Feeling nervous. Wave number one down, how do you feel? So we're going good. We're gonna go play basketball. This is a new formed hobby. Caroline's gonna come down. Mike might come down. Mike is actually very He's... good at basketball. I'm a little bit handicapped though. I can't really jump too much still. Out of all the sparkling waters, LaCroix, Spindrift, or Topa Chico, which is, what's the best one do you think? I love them all. Lately, Spindrift has been my favorite. I'm having a LaCroix. I reckon this hibiscus flavor is the best of the LaCroix. Lost. So, Carl, you won every time in knockout. Oh. You weirdo. <laughs> I come back to him. 
it's on the rise. Oh, we're trying to get some cardio fitness. And kind of like learning the pump again without being on a surfboard. So when I go on a board, it's not so foreign feeling. Exactly like it, it's at least sort of moving. I'm going for you, baby. I'm climbing for you, got it. so much for sending in your questions this week guys there was one question in particular about how to break down my front side carve so I'm gonna dive into that now for a forehand carve the first thing I always start with is generating speed off the takeoff so getting up getting some speed seeing the section you want to do your carve on then number two is going to the bottom of the wave bottom turning you want to get really low and springy you want your back hand to almost touch touch the water so you can explode up to the top of the lip and making sure you're hitting the lip in the correct place, the best power source of the wave. Opening up your hips and your shoulders, wrapping around. And once you finish your wrap, you wanna then be looking back down the line and focusing on your second turn. Sometimes people will do a wrap and they'll carve so far down the wave that they'll lose all of their speed. And so you wanna make sure you stop it just in time to be able to line up your next turn and come out of it with speed. Important thing with forehand carves that I find myself do a lot and I see other people do a lot is turning on the wrong part of the wave. So with a carve, you really wanna make sure you're hitting the best power source of the wave and it's steep enough. Sometimes I'll go up to do a carve and then the wave will naturally flatten out or it'll be a little bit too far on the shoulder. And so it's just knowing how to kind of adjust and take your foot off the gas a little bit if the power source goes away. Thanks so much for watching guys. Remember to hit that like button and please subscribe and leave a comment below with any questions you want me to answer for next week's video.